Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today let's take a look at a classic rifle, the Browning BAR. The Browning BAR is a gas-operated semi-automatic rifle produced by the Browning Arms Company in Belgium. This is an altogether different rifle from the Selective Fire Browning Model 1918 military rifle. This semi-auto only civilian version doesn't actually share any parts compatibility with the military version. As far as I know, it's one of the few semi-auto rifles that's still 50 state legal. But let me reiterate, that's as far as I know. What you're allowed to have in California five minutes ago might not hold true five minutes from now. But rather than dwell on the politics adversely affecting those trapped behind enemy lines, we'll just move on. These civilian BARs were actually derived from FN's Carbine 66, an interesting note that a major player in the rifle's development was Bruce W. Browning, John Moses Browning's grandson. Essentially, this BAR is a semi-automatic, short-stroke, gas-piston-actuated rifle with a rotating multi-lug bolt. It's actually a pretty rugged design that isn't the least bit prone to wearing out. The BAR has been chambered in a variety of cartridges ranging from 243 Winchester all the way up to 300 Winchester Magnum. First production run rifles now known as Mark I's were completely built and assembled in Belgium, but in the early 1970s, FN opened a Browning plant in Portugal. To this day, BARs are still made in Belgium but are now assembled in Portugal. Over the years, the BAR has gone through a number of production changes. The early models introduced in 1968 had the distinctive humpback receiver that looks very similar to the classic Browning Auto 5 shotgun. In 1976, the construction process was simplified and the Mark II was born. A bolt catch and release lever was added and there were also a few changes to the rear stock tank. Additionally, the trigger group on the Mark II's was simplified and held in place with two cross pins, which made it a bit easier to disassemble for routine maintenance. But the classic BAR quality was still there, as was the distinctive receiver that mimicked the Browning Auto 5 shotgun. The hinge magazine was still incorporated, but the magazine body itself can be removed on the Mark II. The BAR has come full circle. Starting out as a classic hunting rifle, it became a police marksman's rifle, then a competition rifle, and it still continues to evolve. The newer Browning Mark III's are a bit more streamlined and no longer have the classic humpback receiver. Nevertheless, people who own them swear by them. Even though there are a number of variations out there, I still prefer the classic Mark I or Mark II, chambered in 30 odd 6 I found this BAR to be rugged, reliable, accurate, and potent enough to take anything that roams the North American continent. One thing in particular does stand out. Browning never has entered the AR arena, and I doubt they ever will. Then again, why should they? They've been making automatic and semi-automatic rifles for nearly a century. And no matter how you look at it, they're a constant reminder of who came first. If you like classic hunting rifles, a Browning BAR will more than fill the bill. Until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.